In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create plan and profile sheets within Open Roads Designer. So to start out, I have my DGN and I have it's a blank DGN and I've referenced in the terrain model, the baseline, and the corridor. And so to start, I want to make sure I, with, I am within Open Roads Modeling. And then I have the Drawing Production tab selected. And the first step is that we want to create named boundaries. So I'll go to this icon and I'll select Place Named Boundaries. And we want to create um, Plan and Profile. So first I want to create my plan first. Within the Drawing Seed, I want to select the Plan and Profile Drawing Seed. And the detail scale, I'm going to keep that at 1 to 50. And then I'm going to create a new group and I'm going to call it Baseline. So to start, it asks me first to identify the path element. So I'm going to scroll in and select the Baseline Geometry or my center line. Now I can select the start and stop location. I can use these two arrows to lock it to start and stop. I'm just going to do this graphically. And so you can see as I bring my cursor, it's laying out the named boundaries. And also note that I didn't check create drawing because I don't want it to create yet because we still need to create the profile named boundaries. So I'll data point. And now I just want a data point again to accept these. So now we have the plan name boundaries. So now we need to create the profile. So I'll select my baseline, hover over it, click open profile model, and open the profile model. So to place these, we'll go back to name boundaries, and instead we're going to select civil profile. Make sure the drawing seed is set to plan profile. And our plan group, we're going to select the baseline. And also the method for this one, since we're doing plan and profile, we want to select from plan group. That way the name boundaries will all match up. You can create a new name group. You can name it um, whatever you want. And so first it asks me to identify the profile view. So I'll click within the view. And then it places the name boundaries for us. And now I do want to create the drawing. So I'll check that and I'll data point to accept. And it automatically opened up the create drawing um, dialog because I had checked this show dialog. So most of this is already, you don't really need to change any of this because this was, um, this has all been populated from the drawing seed that we selected here. The only thing I want to change is to click this, add a sheet index. And I'll show you why later. So I'll click OK and it's processing. It's creating the sheets. It'll create the drawing models and annotate them. And, um, and now you can see our plan profile sheets. So we have our plan up top and our profile down below. And these are all live views. So if you go back and you make any changes within your corridor, when you come here, it'll you'll see all those changes. There's no kind of updating. It's a live view. And all of the annotation is, draw, is done within the drawing model. So if we go to, to our models and go to like profile five, you can see that all the annotation is done here. And then the profile view is attached. So if I turn it off and on, you can see that. And then another thing to point out is within our sheet index, we can store all the sheets and you can click. And this is a way that you can navigate from sheet to sheet. So that's a, a basic workflow of how you can um, create plan profile sheets.